So today we're going to be reading Psalm chapter 73 verses 26 through 28. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For indeed those who are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all those who desert you for harlotry. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all your works. Okay, so I love how the psalmist starts out in verse 26 by stating that my flesh and my heart may fail. But God is my strength and my heart and my portion forever. You know, this is a statement that um, essentially that I have to repeat to myself um, a lot of times uh, in my personal walk with the Lord. Because, you know, a lot of times I feel like us Christians put so much stock, so much weight, so much emphasis on our love for God or our commitment to Him. Where we forget that we're finite beings, that we're... Um, still in this body of flesh. So we're going to sin. And there are times, um, where, you know, the true Christian is not really going to, um, I should say they're going to sin, right? Their heart is not always going to be in it. They're, uh, they're not going to be as always committed because of, whatever circumstance and not that is right because it's definitely wrong but because we're in this body of sin these things we're susceptible of happening because again of this flesh but I love how the psalmist emphasizes that when his um flesh and his heart fail when those things happen right God is still his strength he is his portion forever. And I love that because it takes the focus off of us and our finiteness into the infinity, eternal God um, that, that we all should be focusing on. It is about God's love towards us, his commitment towards his word, his promise that he, made, uh, he makes us. And I believe that if we stop emphasizing us so much in this life, and period, that we will see more of the hand of God moving in our lives. You know, I'm a sinner saved by grace. I'm going to sin until the day I go on to be with the Lord. But because I am in Christ, I'm a new creature. Old things have gone, new have come. I can confess my sins and be, and he's faithful and just to forgive me of all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness according to the word of God. So God is my strength. He's the strength of my heart, and he is my portion forever. And I'll always go to him and not emphasize my love or commitment towards him because that falters uh, most times. For indeed, those who uh, are far from you will perish. And this is the part I um, thought was pretty interesting. Those who will perish, they're destroyed. You have God has destroyed um, all those who desert him. For harlotry. Harlotry is more than a single act of uh, sexual intercourse. Basically, a harlot is someone who engages in sexual immorality for uh, the purpose of money. And it's more than a single act, right? Basically, it's a prostitute. So, a harlot... I, I've never known a prostitute to prostitute themselves one time, right? Otherwise, they would just... I wouldn't label them as a prostitute, quite frankly. So in like manner, a harlot is someone who engages continuously in that sexual and moral behavior um, for gain, right? So the fact that those who deserted God or God deserted them, God had destroyed those who deserted him for prostituting themselves and going after things that simply don't matter for them to gain, whether it be clout, uh, uh, cars, uh, jobs, people, it doesn't matter. We have to, as his children, to stay with him. We have to, as his children, to remember that there is nothing better. There is no one better than God himself. And we shouldn't prostitute ourselves. We shouldn't compromise. We shouldn't give ourselves up to things of significantly lesser value than God. Don't prostitute ourselves. Give ourselves wholly and completely to God himself. So the psalmist concludes here that it is good for him to draw near to God. You know, brothers and sisters, this is very important. 
because just like in verse 26 and verse 28, we have the psalmist uh, putting the emphasis on his need and necessity for God, right? He needs to draw near to God because there are lots of things that is vying for our attention and our affection here on this earth. And it's imperative that we stay close to God and draw near to him and he to us. The psalmist has put his trust in the Lord and that he may declare his works. We have a mission and a commission on this earth to proclaim the truth of God's word. We can't do that when we're prostituting ourselves and playing the harlot. We can't do that if we desert God and become disconnected to our source of power and our source of strength. We must draw near to God, abide in him, seek his face, seek his will, and stay with him. That way we can gain all the power and the strength that we need to live out our lives authentically for him. Thanks for watching. Please check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for the latest content. Also, check us out on our website at www.waytruthem.org or contact us with this email address to connect with us. We are standing ready, willing to pray for you, to believe with you, and to connect with you. Also, check out our book on Amazon called What Do I Do Now? Building a Solid Christian Foundation to help you navigate through the most common questions asked by new and mature believers. May God bless you.